Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. I'm going to test your knowledge today. Let's see what kind of drainage experts you guys have become. Okay, let's test your drainage knowledge. You'll notice this yard, it has several areas that are low. And as it's raining here, you can see the water pooling up. One area over there at the corner by the fence. Another area here by the palm tree in the front. Another area right here by the deck, the front porch. And a fourth area here at the corner of the yard. So how do you solve this problem? You'll notice that there is a drainage swell out front. You see that? Looks like a little river out there. And there's a trip trap bridge that goes across it. <laughs> but that looks like it's draining well. It does drain down to a river on down the road. And it does drain well. So, how do you solve these problems? Take a look again. There are four areas that are holding water. Send me your answers. The solution is very straightforward we would put a yard drain out there. Some people call it a French drain. Basically, we would run a catch basin in that low spot right over there. And then we would run the four inch discharge pipe on out to where it would discharge into the swell. Very simple to solve, very easy to do, something the homeowner could easily do themselves. Um, we might add a piece of French drain. In other words, we want to collect both surface water, is what you see, but there's also subsurface water. The reason that that water is on top of the ground is not just because it's a low spot, it's because it has nowhere to go. The ground underneath is full of water. It, how can this water on the top go anywhere? It, it can't. So we might run a piece of French drain because that collects subsurface water, water that's, you know, the groundwater that's rising up. And then the catch basin, that drains off the area immediately. We take that, put it into a four inch pipe, and we send it right out to the swell. You would do the same thing on these other areas over here as well. Unfortunately, you can't just run one piece of pipe and hope that it solves all the problems. These areas are just too far apart. So you end up with one, two, three, four lines that will basically go out to the swell. It is possible you could join from this one across to that one and out, save a little bit of, of extra excavation. But in all honesty, the more drainage you put in, the better it's going to work. And each one of those catch basins in each low spot, we would run the French drain, the gravel perforated pipe, or easy flow, either one, because that's going to pick up the subsurface water, which is not allowing this water to drain out. Okay, that was an easy problem, right? Well, I guarantee you that if you've figured out the answer to that problem, you can probably do most of these jobs yourself if you're a do-it-yourself. Um, if, if you have a question or you want some advice, we do have live help. That's a video consultation via Skype or FaceTime. And what we can do is we can help you with project planning, uh, maintenance, where to get materials. We can answer any question that you have about how the system works, why water moves this direction, that direction. Um, we can help you with your idea. Usually most people have a plan already and we can usually help you, you know, just, just tweak that a little bit to make it so it's gonna work really good. Sign up online. Um, right now it's $50 for December. I'll probably run that through January of next year as well. Um, save a little bit of money. A lot of people have been commenting about dry wells and hopefully I made that point clear just a second ago. A dry well really doesn't work. Um, at least the small ones that you see people talk about and you see maybe in the store these I don't even know what they're called, but they, um, they're only a, a, a trash can full of gravel. How much water do you see on top of the ground? There's 10 times that amount below ground. That little trash can full of gravel, or even if it's a void, in other words, even if it's an empty trash can surrounded by gravel, that's going to fill up instantly. And still, that water has no place to go. 
You see us use a lot of sump pumps. There is no need for a sump pump here. We have plenty of gravity, in other words, downhill flow from that low spot over to the swale. There's plenty of fall. There's probably two feet of fall there. And even if the little swale rises with more water, we still have downhill flow and it will continue to work. Sump pumps are used when there is no gravity to let that water flow freely. The sump pump lifts up the water and then can send it to wherever you want. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. Thank you.